It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be showing you a beer on the Philips Perfect Draft. It's a Hoe Garden Wit Blanche. It's a 6 litre keg at 4.9% ABV. Goes in this machine here. Uh, so what I'm going to do first, and probably just, yeah, you can just see the top of the keg. So take off this cap, this bit of plastic protection. That then releases the line. So you grab hold of your beer line. A new beer line comes with each keg. Put that there for a second. Open the doors on your perfect draft machine. It's ready, it's already plugged in, ready to grow. Well, not grow but go um, get your beer line feed your beer line down until you can see the hose there there you go click it into position there you go and you can see the line my line's not quite ah that's better there's your the rubber line there at the back on the, on the bottom of the tap. Then you quite simply grab hold of your your tap, you put it on top of the keg in between the two handles and then you just simply push down. There you go. Nice firm push. Grab hold of your keg. Slide it in, push the blue handles down. Close your doors. There you go, and that'll tell you you've got 30 days now on the keg. It's taking a little bit of time, you're saying it's 14 degrees and we've got a full keg. It's not 14 degrees, we have a full keg. What I always do, make a bit of room in your fridge, put the keg in your fridge the night before. What you're doing then is you're taking all the pressure away, all that kind of cooling pressure gets taken away, it gets put in your fridge and all you're doing then is transferring a cold keg into a machine. It's already gone from 14 to 12 to 10 degrees and I'm more or less ready to go. I'm ready to kind of get a whole garden going. It's as simple as that to load a keg into the Phillips Perfect Draft. There we are saying it's, it's nine degrees. So it's probably gonna go all the way down to about four degrees, which for a whole garden, that's pretty good. That's a pretty nice temperature, eight degrees. So we're gonna show you how to pour a pint. I always pour a little bit of beer through into my line, or through the line into my glass. When you've got a full line of beer then, there's a very short distance from the beer to go from the end of the tap into your beer glass. If you're shooting it through the line, first go, into a glass, then you're not going to get a very kind of, it's going to be a, a glass full of foam. So you've got to treat these machines with a little bit of care. There we are, saying it's seven degrees now. So let's let's get a full pint pour now out of this machine. Straight down with the handle, 45 degrees. There you go, look at that. Quite a beautiful thing. Quite a beautiful thing, isn't it? We built this bar last year. We got all our beer machines on here. We got four beer machines on the go. With the situation, I mean, a lot of people built home bars. But to be able to stand here and pour a keg hoe garden in your home bar 
on a relaxing Saturday afternoon. Well, there's nothing quite like it, is it? There's nothing quite like it. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've ever had Keg Ho Garden. I've had plenty of the big, fat, stumpy bottles at about a litre and a half. Maybe even two litres. I've had the normal small bottles of Ho Garden. I've had cans of Ho Garden, but never fresh Keg Ho Garden. So here we go then. Two finger white head. Hazy as you like, a little bit of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Spicy, peppery, banana, clove. Yeah, it smells really good. Proper Belgian whip beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 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 that is different class. That is such a different beer from the bottle or the can. Creamy, rich, a little bit of sweetness coming through, a little bit of spice, pepperiness. You get that banana, you get that clove. Oh, it's beautiful. Mmm. Oh, nice and cold as well. Oh, that is, um, that is a different beer from the can or the bottle, completely different. Now I found a new keg supplier for my perfect draft. My local shop around the corner now, they've changed from a cost cutter to a Londis. So I'm not able to run around the shop with my empty kegs anymore. So I've got to travel, I say travel, it's, it's about five minutes away in the car, to another supplier. But I'm really pleased I went there, actually, because this supplier at the other end of Barry, the other end of the town there, they've got a massive selection of kegs. Massive selection of kegs. And he says because he was the first one in Barry to do it, he's selling a lot of kegs. He's turning over kegs all of the time. And the reason I bring this point up is, is because he spoke about freshness. He said his kegs are the freshest around. And I'm going to agree. I'm going, to, I'm going to agree, I didn't catch the gentleman's name, I'm going to agree with him that this is super, super fresh whole garden. Oh, that's lovely. That is really, really, really lovely. Good lacing on the glass, beautiful. We're in sunshine and showers today, so one minute it's Blasting with sunshine out there. The next minute is hammering down with rain. Proper late spring day here in the UK. Ah, oh, but what a beer. What a beer. I'm going to rate that. That's the best pint of whole garden I've ever bought. And the keg was £32 for 6 litres. Work that out, everybody. My maths is terrible. How much is that a pint? Six, six litres. £32 for the keg. Oh, and uh, oh, that included the £5 return for the other keg as well. So you take your old kegs back, your empties, you get £5 back off your empty kegs. I, should, I keep forgetting to mention that with a perfect draft. So in, altogether, it was £32. And I think that's an absolute smash of a deal there for a whole garden and it's beautiful as well rated I really like that when you can see it's like milk it's going down like milk really drinkable really refreshing peppery spicy banana clove ice cold that's lovely that's, for me I've never had a whole garden like that I've never had a whole garden like that that's probably the same stuff they drink in Belgium 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.